Good morning, everyone. It's welcome. Oh, it's brighter now. It was dark. It was brighter. It's light. Spring is in the air in the sense that kind of smells like shit everywhere. But in a good way. You go, there's a shit. Things are melting. When things melt, shit comes. Uh, let's look at these. I believe these are the vinyl gift pair from Vanessa. They have my name all over them, which makes me uncomfortable. I don't know. There's some good, there's good fonts here. Like a good mint. That one's good. Right? This the the pink one's good. The good solid, solid fonts everywhere. So there you go. In case I ever forget, I'll just look at myself in the mirror. These are the old when I'm older and I go, who was I? And I'll see these pair and I go, unfortunately, that's who I was. I will also say, if you've not already, I would it behooves you to go watch the latest AEW with Will Ospreay. Might have set the record for bleeps. Uh, there's a lot of them. I would say 80% of them are unnecessary. They're just in the middle of a sentence. Or they'll just say, I, you know, I'm going to have a bleep sandwich. You know, was that, why do you hate the sandwich? Um, he won me over in real time. Didn't know what I was going to get. He certainly didn't know what he was going to get for me. And then we seem to link up and have a time together. And, and share energies and mix and mingle. It, that episode has everything. Uh, if political statements, legalizing marijuana and the NHS, and a hearty discussion on autism, um, a hearty discussion on his mother, the goat story, renaming his finishing moves, renaming chants, talking about uh, caulking, uh, talking about bullying Canadians, moving to Orlando, Bushwhacker Luke, the episode has it all. So go like it, go watch it, go comment, go share. It's really hard not to fall in love with this person. A story about Tony Storm I've never heard before. Whew, it is, it is packed. So go watch it. Go tell everyone that you liked it and it, it was a hip happening time. And we're, I guess we're going to be great or whatever. Karen said, hey, ever blessed. Hey, RJ, watched your Will Ospreay Hey video last night. Very funny. I don't know. How did you watch it last night? You mean the clip? Uh, Pogo said, hmm, guess I'm not late. Amanda said, good morning, sir. Hello, friends. I'm traveling back to Cleveland from Chicago. Windy City Riot was awesome. Not sure if I'll be able to listen, but I wanted to say hello. Windy City Riot. John Moxley became the IWGP champion. Would love to sit and talk about it if he's interested. Also, uh, Azumi was on the show. Uh, Trisha Dora was on the show. Uh, There's was a lot of people. Uh, and it was a nice time. I think it was a nice time, I guess. Um, I haven't watched all of the show yet. I've watched certain matches. I need to go back and watch the rest. Uh, last night was Collision. There was Tony Storm against Azumi. There was uh, Mariah May had a bevy of champagne. Thunder Rosa had a big promo. Uh, things were happening. A lot of things were happening. Uh, a go-go with a gut punch to Shibata, like that guy hasn't been through enough. And then Battle of the Belts. You had Athena in Red Velvet. A time was had. You had uh, Roger Strong and Rocky Romero, who I would like to get on the show. Big highfalutin people. Big highfalutin things. And next week, or this week, we're in Indianapolis, and then somewhere else... <laughs> And then we're in St. Louis, which reminds me there is no AEW next week because of the Dynasty pay-per-view. Uh, big deal. Big to do. Going to get the nice suit out for that one. And then right after that, we're in Jacksonville. So this is not end. I'll be around. Uh, Mia said, good morning, beautiful people. Or should I say, bruv. Mess Annie said, good morning, everyone. Mike said, good morning. Simon said, good morning. Sean said, good morning. I've lost my place. Um... Christine said, good morning, all. Congrats on the 96th episode of Hey. Oh, my God. Isn't that something? Isn't that unbelievable? Good morning, RJ and everyone. I hope you're doing well. Good morning, fellow slags. I think I did that right. So Sierra said, good morning. Christine said, Mia. Uh, Molly said, hi, honey. Pi Vanessa said, hello and good day, all. I'm back, and we're linguistically traveling southwest from Indonesia this week. As such, happy Senate to all those convened to watch RJ in his is in Gubu Zangaya Fancy, which is Zulu, of course, obviously. And they this is really what the war was about. I'm not going to get into it right now, but it was a trying time. 
Now, say, Christine, I love the number update. It's like a bill up to 100. EVPJ said, currently watching Windy City Ride. This isn't it. Vanessa said the Osprey interview was fantastic. Monica is hoping everyone has a good day. Jane said, good morning. Bradley said there were 10 bleeps at least in the first five minutes. I think the, the GOAT story has at least 20 bleeps. Um, American said, need an uncensored version for sure. I don't know why we've started bleeping every swear in AEW. We never used to. Somebody just posted a, a video of Jeff Jarrett where he says shit from Hay. And I went, we didn't, never used to do this, did we? Demand it uncensored. I think the YouTube rule is like after a couple minutes, you can swear. Uh, and then there's also some words that should be bleeped all the time, regardless, no matter what. But look, you know me, I'm pro uncensorship. I hate the bleep. I wish I knew that going in. EVP said, I already added the new episode to my watch list. Just fucking watch it. Gina said, did you end up showing him what stroking was? I did. And we had a nice time. And they all said, cheeky Nando's for cheat day. You know, the funny thing is they're always like, British people are like, you Americans, you don't have Nando's and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, we got it in Canada. And it's it's okay. I'm not getting that riled up about it. I think I had it when I was in uh, England for Wembley. And I went, or no, I didn't have it because I went, we have this at home. What's it, what do I need this for? That's a, Not that it's like a last resort, but it's like, meh, meh. Harley says, sing real live Squirrel. Harley saw a video of, uh, I believe, Martin Short singing on SCTV, and she has not been able to stop talking about it, which just sounds like a thing she does. Um, she demands I sing it. I don't know why. She's not playing by the request rules, so I'm not going to sing it. Also, if she did, the song is like two seconds. And she's going to be like, ah, she'll laugh about it. You can go watch her AEW. She was, let, let me put it this way. I made something out of her. You know, a, a bowl of clay, rough, unrefined. And I said, is there a diamond here? I don't know if there was, but I tried my best. V said, hey, it was great, even though Osprey did bury Canadians. And fair enough. Corey said, good morning, Arthur. I hope you have a good week. I wanted to pop in and say, hi, I'm on my way out the door to my wife's work. Oh, are you going to go yell at her? What's the point of that? Tiffany said, good morning, everyone. Hope you all having a delightful morning. Everyone's saying hi to Harley. Matt Sandy said, cruise control. Thanks for being the one person who got that. Manuel said, is this episode with Will the most censored episode of Hey W? I will say I would refer back to the Daniel Garcia episode where I asked him to explain sucking my dick from the back. And <laughs> there was just a long beep. So it depends how we're... Defining most is what I would say. Bill said, made my coffee. Good morning. Josh said, fantastic episode. I assume that's the, uh, just fucking, yeah. Uh, Nell said, I love Rocky. Melissa said, where has Dan Housen been? Why haven't we seen him on AW lately? I do not know. He's all over the indies. He's tearing it up. He's getting his feet from underneath him, doing that sort of business. He's certainly dropping a lot of merch and making money. So I don't think he's, you know, destitute. Um, but it, it is a great question. It's one of those great unresolved mysteries of Dan Housen. I'm sure he'll be popping up at an opportune time, probably as it pertains to me, unfortunately. Uh, Human Adventures said the Children's Museum in Indianapolis is pretty cool. Hmm. Christine said Rocky is great. Rapongi 3000 forever. V said, is there coffee in your underwear next weekend? Yes. It'll probably be pre-taped because I have to be there early. Uh, but there will be. Uh, it's afternoon here, but I hope you have a good morning. Thank you. Josh said, I attended Dynamite on Wednesday with my wife and I clad in Hey W Wrestling and merch. No one in the building complimented us. West Virginia lacks class. I was in the building and I didn't even compliment you. So you got that going for you too. Those pieces of shit. Bastards. Christine said, yay, Vanessa is back. Blue Meanie is here. I'm so sorry that I missed Blue Meanie last week. He was doing Meanie Mania in Philadelphia. I was running around. Uh, and I didn't get a chance to come by, and I feel horrible about it now. Uh, but I'll see you again. I'll fucking see you again. Um, v said, Dan has been wrestling all over the Indies. It's fantastic to see him in the ring more again. He's got the bug. Um, Mike said, speaking of stroking, are you mad Chelsea Green can turn tricks at the Plaza Hotel but can't pay back your $10? I heard she gets paid less than $10, to be honest with you. 
show. That's the going right. It's a buyer's market. Bradley said, if Will Ospreay was a guest on The Muppet Show, what would be the wacky subplot of the episode? I feel like he would go around and try to make things more British. I feel like that's a strong enough to go on. Um, ah, there we go. Human Venus, like drinking a cold brew before heading to church. God bless. Have you ever had that mushroom-based coffee? Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> it's okay. I had one... CBD coffee that was like, oh, I feel something. And then none of them since have I ever felt anything. Uh, Harley said, bring me Canadian eggs, please. So speaking of Nando's and stuff, uh, Harley remarked last time she was here that they don't have Kinder Surprise in the States and they don't have enough. They don't have the Cadbury eggs, the little mini, you know what I'm talking about? So uh, she wants me to smuggle them for her, which is, of course, illegal and wrong. Nail said, we think Harley broke the gift machine. What else is new? Um, Leo said, Nando's rice is Uncle Ben's. And Harley Moneybags Cameron just threw some cash on the table. An obscene amount of cash. Just to hear this. Pardon me, miss, but I've never done this with a real live squirrel. Straight off the farm with an actual arm full of real live girl. Now I'm going to sing the whole song. Pardon me if your affectionate squeeze fogs up my goggles and buckles my knees. I'm simply charmed by the sight and the sound and the scent and the feel of a real live girl. Was that worth it? I don't think it was. Uh, Christine said, oh, damn, Harley means business. Everyone gets frightened when she drops money like that. What what sort of drug ring is she in charge of that she's getting this amount of money? Nail said, hopefully Dan Housen will come back and sort the best friends out. Melissa said, he, he would be a good, I think we need a little family therapy session. Melissa said, I was so worried that Trent was going to drop kick his mom. That would have been a super duper heel turn. Poor, look, Sue's been through enough. Josh said, did you do anything cool in Charleston, West Virginia? There isn't a Don Knotts statue there, so it's no Morgantown. I stopped by the uh, Virginia State Museum, the West Virginia State Museum. It looked lovely. Um, it's an odd place, that Charleston. It uh, whew, whew, whew. it has like um, one baggage carousel when you get to the airport. Hard to get an Uber. Hard to get Uber Eats. You can see why, like, bad people move there. Like, I looked at the mountains and I thought, this is a good place for, like, the clan. <laughs> you know, because no one would bother them. They're like, no one's even going to come check what we're doing. There's so much land. There's so much nothing in between us. We can go do all the horrible things we want. And I always try to think, like, why are certain people drawn to certain areas? And that's what I came up with. Leo said, have you had the Ric Flair mushroom energy drink you must be talking about woo yes i've had i have a gin tonic and woo that's the that's the new drink nick said will's episode is in my top 10 already uh blue mini said no worries rj you only missed my wedding set well then that's for the best and you want to see all the juggling and the clown shit and the dancing i got it uh v said that squirrel song got stuck in my head so badly last time this is also what i i love about harley is that Sing the song. Here's a bunch of money to sing the song. I sing it and then not a peep. Just total dead silence like she stormed off in a huff. Uh, EVP say, EVPJ said Vakar versus Azumi was great. Um, Christine said, to be fair, this is an excellent song. Efren is here and said, I've never sang that song ever. And then he insinuates that he's homosexual, which I will believe. Uh, hi, RJ. I'm Meet Normus, said Meet Normus. I bet you are, my friend. Leo said, do you think that 123Kid Razor Ramones Crybaby Mash is popular online amongst the diaper fetish community? Fuck yes, it is. You ever go on YouTube and see, like, greatest humiliating squash matches? Must be making a million dollars. Um, Mike said, we got to get a video of Will's mom telling the goat story. Well, I'll be at Wembley. Will Sue Osprey be there? I hope so. Mia said, yesterday, Dollar Tree was selling their Easter candy for 39 cents. They wanted it gone. 
as I told Harley, this is now the season for the candy because it goes on sale. Uh, Leo said, you got to do my 60 second request. I'm sorry. I completely missed it. A man genuinely heartbroken that his restaurant has run out of chocolate lava cake. Okay, great. <laughs> yes, actually it looks, looks like a quite a good dessert menu. I will, uh, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I can't believe you guys have this. I've, I've wanted this for so long. Could not get it anywhere. When I was a kid, I remember seeing a commercial on TV for it and i just went what like a uh, volcano of chocolate like that what are we doing am i a giant in hawaii this is amazing and i could not get it in the area uh and i also developed an allergy to chocolate that i had to overcome through tolerant small amounts over a period of, of 18 years um I was able to build up the immunity to be able to enjoy it. And I guess today's the day, you know, sign from above, sign from the Lord. So I would like to order one chocolate lava cake. <laughs> Excuse me? Because, because, I, because I'm, I'm not good. Is it because you don't like me? Is it because I'm not a cool, I'm not a cool fun restaurant guy? Because it has, but you say it says it. But then why? What did I do wrong? What can I do for you? Do you do you think God hates me? And scene, my that was fun. Nails has a request. Christine's choice of song or scene because I think she's the best Christine in existence. Uh, a rare B said, Harley, please peep for RJ. Uh, EVP said, at least you got the $50. That's fair. Christine said, I really want to send Harley Canadian eggs now. Mike said, Tony and Azumi killed it. That was a uh, fucking rip roaring good time. Riley said, this is at least the fourth time you have sung the Squirrel song <laughs> or the original version in the past few months. I think you've even sung it a few times one episode. And John said, how you doing, RJ, brother? Sing the Golden Girls theme song. I'll get right on that. Um, Leo said, I stumbled across the Jobber Fetish YouTube channels. I watched them, but like for the matches, I like them. Shield said, I could have watched you do 90 minutes with Osprey easily. Um, Harley said, your man in the hospital being fed soup, but it's burning you as you swallow. Oh my God. Okay. Give me, give me one second. One second, please. Uh, your man in the hospital bed getting fed soup, but it's burning you as you swallow. Okay. Lunch is here. Excellent. Excellent. I excellent. Okay. Oh, soup. My favorite. Cucumber soup, quite refreshing. Especially since since it's such a hot day. It'd be nice to have something to sort of cool cool down here. Great. Thank you. God. No, it's good. I I loved it. I loved it a lot. I'll have some bread and scene. Is that what you wanted? <laughs> Oh, they said, take off the underwear and put them on your head for three seconds. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm just not doing that. That is uh, perverse and wrong. 
and I'm not doing it. That is that is disgusting, and I will not be participating in it. And you should be. If we could all shame her in the chat, please, that would be that would be great. That would be fantastic. Please. Um, Vanessa said, my mother loved your lava cake scene. Well, thank you for your, your mother has, has, has been there before, I assume. Uh, John said, he puts the lotion on the skin. Oh, well, that's great. Joseph said, sup, RJ, happy Sunday, brother. Leo said, have you ever had chocolate lava cake? I don't think I had. Uh, Bradley said, Harley pays $50 to hear you sing, $10 for you to strip, priorities. It's insulting. Quite. It's an insulting amount of money. Er, see? Everyone said Harley is a family program. RJ, why did you pause like that? Did someone leave a nasty comment somewhere? Say the word. We'll go get them. No, I have to... Changing something here. I have to do a little piece of business that I'm trying to figure out. Second here. Give me one second. Let me figure it out. Give me one second while I do this business. Everyone has to hang on here. Let me figure it. Don't everyone just pause. We're gonna get through this. Everyone hang tight. We're going to get through it. It's going to be awkward and uncomfortable. It's going to be a long pause. Doing business. Everyone entertain yourselves. In the meantime, Everyone hang in there. It's going to be okay. It's going to be great. I, I promise you.
we're back. Everything is okay. Everything's fine. It's not an emergency. I just had to do. I just had to do some work. Can we have music? Sorry, sorry, everyone. Uh, Karnak said he does look concerned. RJ said it's been silent since I got here. This is the only channel I'd stay with through technical difficulties. I stayed through the slow mo mess a couple of months back. Well, what are you gonna do? Pogo said, "Get a refund, Harley. He's not wearing a panty hat yet. Yeah, that's not happening. We should cross the line. Cross the line, quite frankly." Um, American Girl said, I love you. You love me. We love RJ City. Vanessa said, there should be hold music during the pause. What would be your preferred hold music? I, this is a really good song. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da -ba -da -ba -da Anything with people trying to sing like instruments. Uh, James said, everything good? RJ? Everything's okay. Everything's okay. You all calm down. Sean said, need some workshopping. There is an intense typing going on. I'm good at typing. Um, Chronic said, he does look concerned, but he can't spell or read people. Uh, Meet Norma said, can not we have can we have music? Nail said, thanks for using all the stress suggesting body language. Awesome. Uh, Nail said, this is like anxiety ASMR. Gina says, finger to the air to the tribal beef. What are we talking about? Are we talking about this Meet Norma's guy again? Squirrel Squad said, I felt like RJ's computer's point of view while he files taxes. V accurate. Independent contractor. Accurate. Um, Efren said, AW Fan Fest in Vegas. RJ, how would I know that information? How would I know it? Number one, period. And then how would I be the first person to announce it? What do you think I do there? Lauren said, I'm starting to think Harley is laundering money through RJ and has been transferring the funds to the Caymans. All right. Um, it's a it's a ring. We're washing the money. Bradley said, you may want to read Harley's super chat before pouring that huge cup of coffee. Oh, she made another request. What is wrong with this woman? Woman, oh my God. Harley said, drink the whole cup of coffee while looking at the camera. And when you finish, say, now that was a beverage. Then giggle. Now that was a beverage. <laughs> that um, that was bad for my organs. Uh, Vanessa said, "Are you just making the big bucks today? You should thank Harley for humiliating me." Midnight Cowboy said, "You might be able to retire soon if Harley shows up every week." Nick said, "The lava cake scene reminded me of my dad." having a meltdown on Main Street in Disneyland Paris when we returned with a muffin and not the Mickey-shaped brioche because they sold out. You know, they do that shit on purpose. They got some shit that, that looks like Mickey Mouse in the shape of Mickey Mouse, and then they got some shit that isn't, um, and then it'll, upset, it'll make you want the Mickey stuff more. Because realistically, they can make a Mickey muffin. They can make everything in the shape of Mickey Mouse. Shouldn't be that hard. Uh, RJ said, RJ, Liverpool are currently losing at halftime. Can you send them some good vibes, please? It's not Fulham. We're playing them next week. God bless. Sent. EVP said, Harley is an RJ super fan. Harley has the most whimsical fetishes. That's a nice way of putting it. Me, Norma said, here's five for my silliness. You don't know me, but I'm the longest reigning tribal beef. The final sauce. Acknowledge meat. I've had some greens. That's... Quite a gimmick you're running there, Meet Norris. Congratulations. Uh, Mia said, Christine, did you think of your request? Red Dog said, Harley has some weird kinks on the Lord's Day. Nail said, Christine, maybe your request should be something upbeat. Awa said, does anyone want to ask me a question? Absolutely not. John said, I would like to see an insane version of RJ. Would be Bray Wyatt type level of insanity. Is this not crazy enough? My... My body is hurting from what you made me do. EVP said, I needed those words. Thank you, RJ. Bradley said, Harley, when are you going to be on Coffee and Underwear? Vanessa said, there should be whole... I just read this shit. Oh, I had to go back. Oh, fuck, I see. I missed so many things. Uh, Lady Plan said, looking at the intense business being handled. Leo said, looks like he's reading a DM, telling him she wants to take a break. I, okay, that would not involve that much typing. RJ said, it's been silence as I got here. I just read this. I'm back. Squirrel Squad said, I felt like RJ's computer's POV while he... I just read all this shit. Vanessa said, that was more of a wince, not much of a giggle. It's because my body's uh, burning inside. 
you know, is it's in pain. Leo said, did you show Will Ospreay that crazy tattoo of him I showed you? No, I did not. Sorry. There were there's a lot more we needed to talk about. My Sandy said, I watched a classic Gilbert Godfrey bit where he did the honeymooners with James Mason as Ralph, Richard Burton as Norton, and Jack Nicholson as Alice. It is a classic. And he was very, may I say, an underrated impressionist. Um, Josh said, Disney World does have a Mickey muffin. The ears are delightful. But then they also have a non-Mickey muffin, and that's the rap. Walter said, hey, W, A, W, Dynamite Wednesday. I'm going to watch it. Okay. Mia said, my drink of choice as a, is a rock star. And I couldn't drink it that fast. It's, bad. it's also bad. Nell said, Rob is laughing so much at the meat. You must be talking about meat enormous. Acknowledge meat. John said, Liverpool sucks. And Jurgen Klopp has lighthouse teeth. And UFC all the way. Um, Harley said, sing Boston Over Baby. You didn't do the last thing I asked. This is what I want. Boston Over Baby really got me going. This Boston Over Baby here today. Boston Over Baby really got me going. This Boston Over Baby here today. Boston Over. Baby, pick longer songs next time. Pearl Girl said, see, RJ, this is why you wash your undies regularly. You might have to wear them as a hat. All right. Uh, Pearl Girl said, I just read that. I know Meet Norris from Fightful Super Chats. Christine said, I was thrown by the interlude. Maybe some nice Bobby Darren, Beyond the Sea. Um, somewhere beyond the sea, somewhere waiting for me. My lover stands on golden sands and watches the ships that go sailing somewhere beyond the sea. She's there watching for me. If I could fly like birds on high, then straight to her arms, I'd go sailing. It's far beyond a star. It's near beyond the moon. I know beyond a doubt my heart will lead me there soon. We'll meet, I know we'll meet beyond the shore. We'll kiss just as before. Happy we'll be beyond the sea and never again I'll go sailing. It's far beyond the star. It's near beyond the moon. I know beyond a doubt my heart will lead me there soon. We'll meet, I know we'll meet beyond the shore. We'll kiss just as before. Happy we'll be beyond the sea. And never again I'll go sailing. No more sailing. So long sailing. Bye bye sailing. No more sailing. Don't walk around with all this sailing. There's too much sailing happening now. Please stop sailing. Uh, Bradley said, When is the CEO going to be on? Hey, ask her. She's on Twitter. She's answering shit. Ask her. Uh, Walter said, RJ was, Will Ospreay was a cool guest on Hey W. Thank you. Uh, I will watch it today. Nail said, can we get the bleep to actually be RJ saying, dear Lord? I, I don't know why they bleep out there. I'm so anti. It's like, we can say shit. I think we say ass and shit and bitch. Christine has gifted five memberships. James, John, EVP, V, and somebody else all get memberships. So congratulations. Bradley said, how much for you to sing the entirety of American Pie? I don't. I'm not. I'm not I don't. Don't. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm asking. I will give you $5 so I don't have to sing it. Walter said, RJ, pick Thunder Rosa to win over Tony Storm at the AW pay-per-view. What do you think? Also, Tony Storm has a black and white entrance. You're just saying things now. Leo said, how much for you to not sing the whole of American Pie? That's what I'm saying. You probably make more money threatening this request. Pogo said, checking with the YouTube blocking policy while we wait. Thank you. Walter said, nice singing, RJ. Also, thank you. Efren said, your singing is my new Calm app. Melissa said, American Pie is about the death of Buddy Holly. How is that saccharine? Because of the guitar. <laughs> Messani said, Carol Burnett recently appeared on Mark Maron's podcast as well as Conan O'Brien's. Have you had the chance to hear either? I heard the Maron one. The, the Conan one, I don't really need to hear. Uh, the Maron one was great. 
Squirrel Squad said, how much for you to watch American Pie? Oh, I also don't want to watch it. Uh, Nail said, ah, one of my favorite sailing songs. Prisma of Euro said, happy cultiversary to me. Keeping with Bobby Darren, can we get Dream Lover? Every night, I hope and pray, Dream Lover will come my way. Since I've been old, keeping friends as I grow old, I want a girl to call my own. I want a dream lover so I don't have to dream alone. Dream lover, where are you? With a love oh so true. Oh, this is the part. And a hand that I can hold. Give me the fence back, oh, old. I want a girl to call my own. I want a dream lover so I don't have to dream alone. Someday I don't know her. She'll bring her love to me. Someday I don't know her. She'll bring her love to me. I don't know the lyrics. Dream lover. Until then, I'll go to sleep and dream again. And the only thing to do, make my lover's dreams come true. I said I want to, 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 a girl to, 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 to call my own. I want a dream lover so I don't have to dream alone. Don't make me dream alone. I would like to wake up soon. So he almost does the the non-ending ending, I guess. Not ending it on purpose. The song is over, and then you got 10, 15 seconds of this shit. Um, Best Andy said, I'm almost surprised that twat wasn't bleep, considering what apparently it was. <laughs> Don't tell them. EVP said, love the encouraging messages you send to your members. I will try to stay alive. James said, what's the status of Godspeed and the God Bless shirt? Well, I just, I, when you have the AW merch now, I'm like, that should kind of be the, you know, the focus of it. Uh, so go to shopaw.com. They won't be making a Godspeed and God bless you anytime soon. John said, Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Boom, 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 boom. Bradley said, I know you have so much free time. I don't. But do you have a chance to watch any of the new Fallout show? Some great music features. I'm not even familiar with the video game. Like th those video games are a little too deep for me. A little too they they go on too long. It's not my bag. Walter said, "RJ, the AW merch is cool shirts and AW action figures and sweatshirts. Wear sometime in your TV or podcast." James said, "Tony Shalhoub for president." Somebody just sent me an article where the Shalhoub man says that maybe we're not done with Monk after all, even though the last special was a Monk's last case. Uh, v said, RJ, what's your Sunday treat? I have a lot of ice cream here. I just probably some pizza, too, which I will be getting on, I think, very shortly. Everyone said, God, that was bleeping fabulous. Leo said, we're getting an RJ and Renee action figure two-pack. Has Jazzware scanned you yet? They have not, and I'm insulted. Tiffany said, listening to RJ single, I have my coffee. It's been so calming. RJ said, not a fan of Conan's podcast. I went off it for years, but it got better recently. Well, I mean, I was big into Gilbert's podcast, which is, is just blows it away in almost every way. Conan and I will listen to when there's people I really want to listen to. Um, I'm trying to think like who. Um, Jack Handy. For sure. Somebody like the insult, the comic dog. Uh, uh, what the fuck is his name? Uh, Rob Smigel. Some people like that. I'll be like, oh, let's go listen to this. But sometimes there has to be a, the right combination. Uh, Conan and Carol isn't moving. Uh, and they all said, it's twat as in hat, not hot. Twat? Twat. I think tw I, maybe this twat is a different definition. Efren said, what was your favorite Nintendo game? I'm a Blade to Steel man. I love a good Blade to Steel. I also loved, and there, I think there's a video of it on my channel. I loved the uh, Nickelodeon's Double Dare. Thought was excellent. I'm thinking of original. You said Nintendo, so I'm thinking of NES games. Uh, it was, I say it's excellent. It was really, really, really difficult. I also loved the uh, WrestleMania. I must have been WrestleMania Challenge or something. I remember the song. And then you would like, you would be Ted DiBiase and dollar signs would come out and you have to go get them. Um, John said, my little bro is exactly like you, RJ. He's just as great as we are. We are specialists. 
Take that how you want to. Thanks. Bradley said, you've called yourself the Orson Welles of childhood wrestling. What would be your dream match as a kid, and how would you have booked the ending? Is there, a, is there a Roddy Piper? Am I interested? You know what? I would have wrestled Andre the Giant, and at some point I would have said, this is too much for me, and I would have quit. That, I think, would be an ending I was interested in. Pogo said, thanks for lifting my spirits. Vanessa said, Blades of Steel. I always picked Minnesota because they wore purple. Sheen, Blades of Steel. Uh, the branding stayed with. So Vanessa wears purple because the Minnesota team and Blades of Steel wore purple. What a journey that is. Um. Could you do the night the lights went out in Georgia from Julia Sugarbaker? Simon has a request here. Here's the whole speech. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, this is it. Excellent. So this is a speech from Designing Women. Dixie Carter is playing a role. I'm Julia Sugarbaker. Susan Sugarbaker's sister. I couldn't overhelp but hearing part of your conversation. And Marjorie says, well, I'm sorry. I didn't know anyone was here. Yes. And I gather from your comments that there are a couple other things you don't know, Marjorie. For example, you probably didn't know that Suzanne was the only contestant in Georgia pageant history to sweep every category except congeniality. And that is not something the women in my family aspire to anyway. Or that when she walked down the runway in her swimsuit, five contestants quit on the spot. Or that when she emerged from the isolation booth to answer the question, what would you do to prevent war? She spoke so eloquently of patriotism, battlefields, and diamond tiaras, grown men wept. And you probably didn't know, Marjorie, that Suzanne was not just any Miss Georgia. She was the Miss Georgia. She didn't just twirl a baton. That baton was on fire. And when she threw that baton into the air, it flew higher, further, faster than any baton has ever flown before, hitting a transformer and showering the dark and arena with sparks. And when it finally did come down, Marjorie, my sister caught that baton and 12,000 people jumped to their feet for 16 and one half minutes of uninterrupted thunderous ovation as flames illuminated her tear-stained face. And that, Marjorie, just so you will know, and your children will someday know, is the night. The lights went out in Georgia. End scene. Did that work for you, Simon? Was that okay? I feel like you're, I, you are taking this seriously. So I wanted to make you feel satisfied. Lauren said, do you think they actually took the idea for Triumph from Ed the Sock? <laughs> it's, it's hard to say because there had also been other puppets in the past that were like that. I go back to, to Madam, Wayland Flowers and Madam, and I feel like that was the the precursor to all of this. And I feel like it's it was literally just that, but with 90s humor. So. It's hard to say. The cigar, maybe, if some things are so specific. You know, Ed certainly thinks so. Um, it's possible. It's also possible that it's not. Um, Sabrina said, do you remember Kevin Nash and Sabrina? Of course I do. Why would I forget that? He, was, he had an ax. Squirrel Squirrel said, those old NES games seem so unnecessarily hard when I try to go back to them. They never made it easy. Well, there was not. At some point, the complexity of the game outgrew the controls. I think that was the problem. And then, obviously, when they did SNES, there was a lot more controls. American Girl said, I like the Double Dare NES 2 plus Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune. Those were exhausting. The Family Feud, you have to go and type every word. Uh, Josh had Blades of Steel Rules, Ride or Die, Edmonton. Who was your team? I would either pick usually Toronto or New York. Uh, I, was not, I was not as moved by the purple as Vanessa was. Uh, Leo said... Do you remember when every movie got a video game? The SpongeBob movie games were, were hard. I got it for my 11th birthday, and I shit myself playing it. The last time I shit myself. Uh, N64 had a very hard Toy Story game. You really played through the whole movie. I'm thinking of Super NES now. Rocco's Modern Life uh, had a, a, another difficult game. All the Ren and Stimpy games were good. One of the greatest games ever, as far as I'm concerned, is The Mask on Super Nintendo. That game is great and deep and has like an endless amount of controls. That's a really, really deep game. Uh, EVP said, yes, that was good. Also got some acclaimed scissors in the crate. Congratulations. John said, Goldberg and Universal Soldier. Are you a fan of Dr. Now? Said Leo. Lay off the sugary drinks. Uh, maybe don't drink some Sprite. He's like top five on Cameo. And they, it's also like, why am I even bothering to be funny or interesting? Or It's because he's 
the top guy on Cameo. A scam, a boring scam doctor. Uh, v said, no request, just a heartfelt thank you for brightening up Sunday mornings. Uh, EVP said, and a metal straw that says, drink the haterade. What do you want from me? Uh, Rob said, the hook snack bag clip was also on point. Leo said, I had my hair cut today and they did that thing where they put pegs in your hair. I look cute as fuck with the space bun. You should have just said, just leave it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk out like this. How much for the pegs? Uh, Nail said, all the music you posted this week for members, did you finally work with Ruckus? No, I did not. Those are entirely AI made uh, clips, which I thought was just good to share like that. Uh, I've not worked with him yet, despite him. It's been like over a year now. So maybe it's just never happening. It's added to the pile. Rob said, who is the best, best Batman? Adam West. There's no contest. Nug said, remember the video game for The Omen? I do not. But I remember, not that it was really based on a game necessarily, but a couple of games. Splatterhouse. Love Splatterhouse. Splatterhouse. I think there was two or three of them. They were very good. Um it was, uh, you know what were horrible? The Star Trek video games. Like the next generation, the boring strategy. It was like a strategy video game. They're horrible. Also, if you like podcasts that are games, and so do I, go listen to Nug's $1 Words on everywhere, everywhere. Just type in $1 Words. It will come up. It's orange. It'll probably have his face somewhere. You'll have a good time. See, Christine said, Nug, love this week's podcast. Vanessa said, speaking of deep games... How annoyed are you getting with Chumbone Champ? I assure you we're making headway. I'm going to beat this fucking game. Rob said, the doctor sounds like a bit like Ringo Starr. Lay off the sugary drinks. Uh, wait, now I've lost my Ringo. I can't say the Ringo stuff like that. Let's find out what Thomas is doing today. I think that's, that's all I can do. Lay off the sugary drinks. You shouldn't have so much Sprite. And then... Dr. Now is, oh, lay off the sugary drinks. Don't do too much Sprite. And meanwhile, the woman is like dying. Leo said, but you're a fan of Brackus. I asked, who did I ask? Mark Henry about Brackus. Mark Henry trained with Brackus. And it was very exciting. Pogro said, I'm doing the twist right now. Walter said, uh, RJ, you going to watch the new Beetlejuice with Michael Keaton? Maybe. Will Dick Cavett be in it? James said, RJ, did you ever beat Ninja Turtles video game on NES? I never beat it. Oh, no, maybe I did. So there's like a, a ROM here where you could play through and do like cheat codes and stuff. I've definitely done that before. Peter Pan, uh, not Peter Pan, Hook has a fantastic game. The Dustin Hoffman, the Hook, the Spielberg Hook. The game, quite frankly, is better than the movie. Miss Andy said, Penn and Teller had a Sega CD game where the goal was to drive from Tucson to Las Vegas in real time. You could not pause the game. I do remember this. I watched like a playthrough of it. It's, I mean, it's made that way on purpose, and it's incredibly boring, and it's just a, it's a test of wills. Nell said an on-air sign, a pin or a sticker or a key ring or something would be epic. Tell the people we should do an on-air pin. I don't, I don't know the market for pins. Uh, T said, who's the best Superman? Was that asked? It's hard to not go with Christopher Reeve, really. I think so. Nug said, the CD-ROM game from Monty Python and the Holy Grail was incredible. I also remember when you bought the Independence Day action figure, it came with a floppy disk, and they had, like, little mini games on them, and they were shit. Leo said, rest in peace, OJ Simpson. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bradley said, who is the best Beatle? I like Billy Preston. Rob said, did anyone ever complete Half-Life 2, Episode 2, without needing cheat codes? I also went back and played... The Lion King video game and the Aladdin video game. Fantastic. Uh, the Beauty and the Beast, all Beauty and the Beast games, horrible. Just, oh, I'm I'm Belle and I'm reading and I have to jump over shit. Um, Leo said, talking of autism today, Thomas the Tank Engine is popular with autistic children. Should have asked Will Ospreay if he was a fan. Leo said, I loved it as a child too, but I've never been diagnosed. Surely not every child who loved Thomas the Tank Engine is autistic, right? I only loved Shining Time Station. I was a DD Con man. Um, not going to get into it now. Nell said, it's me. I'm in the market for pins. Great. Uh, Christine said, he keeps missing my comments. I'm getting paranoid. I must have. I'm sorry, Christine. I had the honor of watching OK Gamer create an RJ City character. Check out her streams to see it. Thank you, Christine. I did miss that because I was too busy plugging Nug's 
uh, things there. Uh, so relax, calm down. And yes, go check out that stream and the, the fake me. M me. Deep down, are you an Autobot or a Decepticon? I am in favor of no Transformers series. People love pins. Okay, great. A Rare B said, oh, I just heard that. I beat all of Half-Life 2 in the episodes without cheat codes. Love that game. Good for you. Bradley said, watching Kenny Omega on Twitch, he seems like the most down-to-earth guy. Would love to see what you and he could do on Hey. I had him very much on the list, and I was slowly approaching him until he got injured. So now that he's on Twitch, what are you going to say? I'm not going to do Hey, but I'm going to do Twitch. He's got no argument. So the second he's back, I need him. Aaron said, XPW is better than ECW. All right. Uh, EVP said, I'm pretty sure I had a DVD of Aladdin and there were some games on the DVD. Ooh, those are rough. Those those trivia games too. Leo said, are you familiar with Postman Pat? That's about as British as kids TV get. You mean with his black and white cat? That one? Uh, dun, 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 dun. Joe said, who played the conductor better? Thomas in Shining Time Station, Ringo or George Carlin? George Carlin was alarming. I thought it was more in line with who Ringo was as a person. George Carlin obviously needed the money. Bradley said the Nintendo Philips CD games are slogs to get through. Well, I, I will keep that in mind next time I'm at the game store buying games. It's nuts that you just download games that you don't even have the CDs. Like the it drives me insane. It really, really does. Uh, I don't like it. it. Makes me feel uncomfortable. Uh, well, what are you gonna do? You know what I mean. Vanessa said, do you have a favorite jobber of all time? Ooh, I loved a guy I saw on one VHS my grandmother had. His name was Danny Brazil, and I think he had a Brazilian flag on his jacket. And I thought, I'm interested in this guy. Uh, Jake the Milkman Milliman. Uh, of course, Paul the Vestibule Vestibule, I thought was great, too. Leo said, do you like steam trains? There are some people who are crazy about them. Yeah, I just love to put my face over them, and I feel like it opens my pores. T said, there's a vast space between Didi Khan and Gail Sondergaard, isn't there? And I aim to fill it. Matt Sandy said, Jake Milliman was an AWA legend. EVP said, Colin Delaney was a great jobber in ECW. He had a good, solid run, though. I feel like everything was good. Rob said, it's weird that they chose to call it Thomas the Tank Engine when no one ever refers to trains as tank engines. Thomas the Train? Meh. Meh. Thomas the Tank Engine. Think of the alliteration there, Rob. Use your brain. Isvit said, I was watching some old Hey W apps. It's so cool you wrote a thesis on kayfabe. Is it available to read anywhere? Because I find your perspective on the wrestling industry fascinating. It's not online, for sure. Like, I don't have it in any email I've checked. I will have to go digging through my files to find, like, a hard copy and take pictures of it and print it and, you know, whatever. Uh, but it exists. Sayid said, no, Iron Mike Sharp. I feel like he was slightly above the category of jobber to me. You know him. You know what I mean? He had a gimmick. I feel like it takes him out of contention. Mike said, the Italian stallion was a great jobber. I wanted his jacket. Ah, there were some other ones. and I can't for the life of me remember them now. There's like a jobber's. There's like a ham and eggers Instagram or something. Um, Chronic Snake said, I saw Dan the Dad for the first time. Decent. Do you know of him? Of course. He's my father. Neil said, is it the fat controller in Canada? It is in English. What are we talking about? He is Sir Top Manhattan America. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They call in England, they call him the fat controller. That bulbous guy, bald, bulbous guy with bull. And he looks too clean to really be doing anything. I don't think he's doing anything. Aaron said, RJ, will you ever come back to the ring? I miss me, Arthur. How much cash do you have on you? Mia said, what's your cheat meal for today? I, I'm going to say pizza and ice cream. I'm going to keep it fairly standard. Masked Manakala Mikal said, Dan the Dad versus Tent. Amazing. I think you're thinking of Jake Manning, the man's guy, Jake Manning. Miss Annie said, Mike Sharp challenged Bob Asplund for the WWE title in Philly. So I think my point stands. T said, Do you have an adult cartoon, not like Heavy Metal or Fritz a Cat, but Simpsons, Great North, Bojack that you like? I really like King of the Hill. Um, Garland, I feel like it's something you can really sit and watch. I like Rocco. I love Dr. Katz. Yeah, there's three. There's three good cartoons. Um, 
Mike said, who was the jobber that did the crazy bump where he flew through the middle of a rope? I think you're thinking of Chris Hamrick, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yes, right? Christine said, my dad's favorite jobber at Maple Leaf Gardens was Pez Watley. And I also go, was he a jobber? I don't know. He had a good run elsewhere. Uh, Bradley said, you said you have heat with Lucille Ball. Any other beloved celebrities you have heat with? Betty White is up there, isn't she? Lucille Ball could be very mean. I think she kicked Madeline Kahn out of the film version of Mame. I don't think that was that nice. Um, Rob said, how long you got, Bradley? What are we talking about? Leo said, did Bobby Heenan create the term ham and eggers? My understanding is yes, he did. EVP said, then Pez Watley turned on Jimmy Valiant. See, he was in storylines. And he said, Pez Watley's in the Hall of Fame. And Bill said, SD Jones. I liked SD Jones. Special Delivery Jones. That's a name. Pogrok just donated a golden rod tribute just to say thank you. And what's sweeter than that? Uh, James said Pez Watley was a tremendous Jim Prockett's promotions guy. So I feel like that takes him out of the category. Christine said we only saw Pez as a job. Or my bad. Christine, it's not your fault. I just feel like in the totality, we can't put him in contention. V said, Christine, the spectrum part of hey involved Osprey wanting to inspire and uplift more or less. At least that's how I took it. Yes. Yes, isn't that the isn't that the point? Uh, T said, "What kind of monster is mean to Madeline Kahn?" My point exactly. James said, "Rocky King was a great jobber." Leo said, "Next day delivery Jones, uh, standard delivery Jones." Nail said, "Oh, the arm is up. He is flirting. That's the, you, oh, you got me. Can't stretch. Can't I fucking stretch?" Uh, Nail said, give us your favorite chat up line. Hey, what's what lot happening? Gee, isn't there a lot happening? And then they yours. James said, the king of jobbers, Barry Horowitz, pat on the back. He was also very good. He really, really was. Joe said, did you get the footage from the major wrestling podcast episode live yet? 19. Would love to see since they don't stream them anymore. I missed it. I was told it's coming. I asked, I think a couple days ago, I was told it's coming. Leo said, I can't flirt. I'm bad. Uh, that's, that's, I know that routine. Messiah said, asking Tony about his sister Madeline still stands out as a great line. Christine said, I feel weird. Please tell me I'll be fine. Well, I guess. <clears throat> you know, look, feeling weird is fine. We all feel weird. But hum all of this is weird. None of this is normal. I mean, humanity being here on this earth is not. And then what we've chosen to do with our time, even just for this hour, is also insane. You know, that's what, we don't really need to do that. So, yeah, I guess so. Vanessa said, no cruise improv footage yet either, huh? Do you think I'm the one that filmed it? <laughs> I'm waiting on it. When it's ready, they'll send it to me. If they don't send it to me, I, uh, what do you want from me? I will put it up in the day I get it. Nelson, said, I'm going to try that line on Rob later. James said, Sir Pentacle and John Cruz are both great jobbers. Nia said, have a week. Have a great week, everyone. Mike said, Barry was a former GWF light heavyweight champion. CC said, what wrestling lost media do you want to see the most? Oh, my God. From the Mike Douglas show. It's it's like Cherry Lewis and Mike Douglas against Andre the Giant. No question. N absolutely no question. And I, I went on a bunch of podcasts and asked about it and I've heard nothing. Uh, Bradley said, hope you have a great week, RJ. Go watch Hey Again. Yes. Go watch Hey W. V said the Hey W YouTube playlist is back to not adding the new episodes. I'll rectify it. So go watch the latest Hey W with Will Ospreay. Go like it. Go watch it. Go comment. Go share. Go tell everyone you love it. Uh, it is fantastic. Uh, and then let's get a final look at these. Let's get the hell out of here, I guess. Right? That's, that's my name. And unfortunately, I'm wearing it out. <laughs>